Oh, hello there. This is Lisa Swank, and this month's theme over in uh, my creative year is figures. And you know, from my last uh, Muse video that I did, I had said that I had done a DNA test along with some of my family members, and I've gotten the results back and um, so I'm gonna play around with those figures because you know you're a little percentage of your mom side and your little percentage of your actually it's 50 50 and your grandparents you're like 25 percent of their DNA and um, you know I'm, ju I'm just gonna develop a page using some of the things that uh, inspired me to make this page. Uh, you know, what the percentages are and uh, so I hope you enjoy the the video and I will probably speed up from here on in.
I am back I'm just gonna put a few finishing touches on here and as you can see I'm you know I have a very small part of Eastern uh, European I'm mainly British and Irish French and German and Scandinavian a little bit of Finnish and a little bit of Spanish Orchid, orchid. I'm going to mispronounce it. <clears throat> Excuse me. Um, but I, I wanted to outline some of the details to bring out the girl. <clears throat> and you know, this is all based on uh, what I've been doing with some of my spare time is uh, doing our family tree <clears throat> and uh, there's been a few surprises with that of course um, but I am kind of pleased how this turned out Let's see if I can darken up a little bit of this But I wanted to make her look like, you know, it was made up of DNA. Because, you know, you're 100% you. No matter where your heritage is, you're 100%. And that's what it comes down to. It's our ancestry DNA, and it's been a lot of fun to check in with, and I'm still not done with it, um, but I've been having a lot of fun with it. My kids have some tests that haven't come in yet. Um, my mother's that was kind of beneficial to have put in there because I, I since we're talking about figures I have her percentage of my DNA uh, sorry for the dinging um, report so I'm able to actually see what my dad's is because I got my mom's and uh, it's been a lot of fun. I would recommend doing it. I've had so much fun with it. But I wanted to, you know, no matter what the results are, um, you're still always going to be 100 percent yourself and I thought this played in to our theme this month on figures um, gotta stop saying um and if I sound a little different I'm kind of set up over in the bunkhouse it's a little quieter. Um, it just I don't have any internet here, so I have to take the camera back and load it onto my laptop when I get done here. And I don't know if I want a border on this or not. I may put one there. I thought about putting some um, gold thumbprints to represent, you know, DNA. Um, but I may do that with ink. I don't know how it would show up on this, but I, I that was just a last minute thought. Um, but before the video gets too long, I wanted to finish up. And I hope you enjoyed the process. Um, a little too much water you know you could certainly grind up the edges 
with the Stabilo all, but I may do something else with it. Um, but I hope you enjoyed my process, and that's my interpretation of figures this month. I know it's tax time, but you know, that's always kind of a bad word. Um, okay, so thank you so much for watching, and um, I'll see you next time. Bye-bye now.